Here are three simple ways to measure and verify the amount of sand that is applied to turf grass surfaces through top dressing. This is an important number to know and to keep track of for all kinds of reasons. I'll refer to a few things specific to golf course putting greens, but this measurement and the general principles apply to any type of turf grass. The amount of sand is important because with too little sand, the surfaces won't perform as they should. With too much sand, the surfaces are disrupted more than they need to be, and they won't perform as they should then either. I'd rather play golf on grass or experience any type of turf grass surface when it's mostly grass and not so much sand. And I think most golfers would agree, most people who use turf grass surfaces would agree. So the idea is to keep track exactly of the amount of sand that's used and from that being able to adjust it to get just the right amount in the near future and in the longer term. It's actually a lot of work to do all of the things that are associated with adding sand to greens. And so it's really important to make sure that just the right amount is applied. And to apply just the right amount, I think it's important to know how much has actually been applied. So I will show three ways to come up with that number. And this is based on some recent measurements that I made myself. The idea, of course, with top dressing is not to apply sand just for its own sake, but to make sure that the playing conditions are just the way that they should be, and especially so that the ball reaction will be just the way that it should be. We want the ball to bounce in just the right way for a particular venue and for a particular time of the year. And so to do that, sand is applied. And we also want to make sure that the surfaces are smooth and that the ball can roll across it and that mowers have that there's enough stability in the surface for the mowers to cut the turf. So that's important for playability. And then another reason to make sure we have the right amount of sand is so the grass can grow well. We want to make sure that there's enough air space in the soil. And to do that, there should be sand and sand can withstand compaction and still have some pretty big pore space in the soil with enough air. The USGA have a great video about one way to measure the sand top dressing rate, and I recommend that you watch that. Now, I'm gonna show a slightly different way that also measures the mass per area. They used a tray, a cooking tray with Inca mat in it. So that tray is a hard uh, surface, and that hard surface could have some sand skipping out of it depending on the type of top dresser that you use. And because of that, they recommended using an Inca mat inside the tray so that that will capture the sand and keep it from escaping. In the video I'm showing here, I've used a towel and I did this together with the golf course superintendent from Kea Golf Club and also the assistant general manager, Mr. Andrew McDaniel. And we laid these towels out on the green prior to top dressing and then the top dresser ran across the green and spread the sand and the the sand rate that was coming out of the top dresser is now sitting on top of that towel so the idea will be to then take the towel and weigh it and based on that we will know how much sand has been applied to the green this is something that doesn't take very much time at all. In fact, the amount of time that it takes for me to explain this in the video is actually longer than the time that it takes to actually do this measurement. But I want to make sure that I explain it as thoroughly as I can. The reason why we put three towels out there is so that we can take an average because we thought that perhaps the uh, the rate could change slightly on, on different passes and we want to make sure that we get this as accurate as possible. So to do that, I made multiple measurements and then we take the average of that for our calculated rate. This is what it looks like after we picked up the towel very carefully and placed it inside a plastic bag. You see that the towel has captured all of the sand and the sand and 
the um, towel and the bag are all together. Now this, of course, we measure the tear weight. We measure the weight of the bag and the sand. I'm sorry, the, the towel and the bag prior to any sand going in it. And that was about 45 grams. So we have that weight that we know what the weight is prior to any sand going in there. And then, then we measure with the sand in those bags and we had 181 grams, 185 grams, and 183 grams. So the average mass for each towel was 183 grams. And that means that the sand mass, after we subtract the mass of the towel in the bag without sand, the sand per towel is 138 grams. And then we measure the towels so we know their size. And on average, these towels are 27 centimeters by 39 centimeters. That's the area. So that area gives us 0 0.1053 square meters. We have 138 grams of sand per 0 0.1 square meters. That gives us 1.3 kilograms of sand per square meter. That was our application rate. Now that sand, when it is applied at a rate of 1.3 kilograms per square meter, we can estimate the depth of that sand just by using the bulk density. And sand has a bulk density of about 1.56 grams per cubic centimeter. Now, I'm providing all of this information in metric, and if you'd like it in other units, let me know and I can work through those, or I leave it as an exercise to the viewer to work through it and make those conversions. But if we take that amount of sand, 1,311 grams, and divide it by the bulk density, 1.56, we know that we had 840 cubic centimeters per square meter, and that gives us a depth of 0 0.84 millimeters. Now we can also measure this volume directly, and I did that by taking all of that sand, this was kiln-dried kiln sand, so we can it comes off of those towels easily, and we can just put it and measure the volume, and when we did that, it is a total amount of 265 cubic centimeters, and that was from the three towels, so it's an average of 88 cubic centimeters per each one of those towels, which we know the area. So if we do that, we also come up with the same answer, 0 0.84 millimeters of sand. So that's pretty cool that the volume and the mass method give the same answer. And then we can also do the indirect method, which is what I've always done before, which is looking at the total amount of sand applied over the total area that it's been applied to. These are one ton bags of sand, one ton here being 1,000 kilograms. So if we just keep track of how many bags of sand were applied, then we know how many tons of sand were applied. And in the case of Kea Golf Club, this sand is estimated to be applied to 14,000 square meters of greens. But there can be some overthrow, and this method is not quite as exact. And as you'll see, when I work through this calculation, we come up with a slightly lower number, and that's because some of that sand that was applied gets thrown onto the surrounds. So it, it doesn't actually make it onto the green surface. So I think it makes sense to measure it directly and then just check that this is pretty close. So when you've got the amount of sand, in this case, he, these are the, some of the empty bags that were used. There were actually 17 bags used. So 17,000 kilograms from this particular top dressing application applied to 14,000 square meters. So this comes to be 1.21 kilograms by this calculation method or 0 0.78 millimeters. We're still uh, within less than 10%, but 
but there's a little bit of error by that method because some of the sand ends up getting thrown off of the putting surface. So I prefer to measure directly the amount of sand uh, just, just to be completely certain. And I like to verify by looking at the total amount of sand that's been applied. You look at the total amount of sand that's been applied over the total area that's been applied and make sure that that's pretty close to the number that you actually measure by a direct measurement method. Now, whether you're using a really heavy top dressing rate or whether you are doing a top dressing rate that is lighter, you can take a measurement at each top dressing application through the year and you can add those together and from that by the end of the year you will be able to look at your total amount of sand that's been applied so this was a heavy application if you're applying 0.84 millimeters that's a pretty heavy application this application shown here is just a light dusting and there is plenty more information about all this stuff at asianturfgrass.com thank you